Hi guys, uh, just quickly, I've put the uh, fuel pumps on, as I've shown you before. Fuel pumps are on, and we've got center tank fuel today. Center tank fuel is switched on for takeoff only if it's more than 7,700 kilograms, then we use it. Otherwise, the center tank pumps stay off until after takeoff. So over here, we've got 120 tons and 10.8 tons in the center tank. That's main tank number one, 13.2. These are thousands of kilograms. Main tank number three, number two rather, and then 3.9 in the reserve. This feeds into there as this fuel gets depleted. Nothing in the stabilizer tank because we don't need it. 37.2, 3.9. Again, this feeds into there, drains into there. And number four is 13.2. So at the moment, we've got tank number, center tank rather, feeding all engines because these boost pumps override uh, overpower rather the main boost pumps in each tank so center tank pump is feeding all engines at engine start watch what happens when i select the flap for takeoff so right now the flap at position zero so we're taking off the flap 20 today so I've positioned the flap the flaps 20 and what will happen after a few seconds to protect the outboard engines and ensure that we can get this fuel out, watch what happens to the cross feed. It takes a few seconds. The flaps are still moving. So once the flaps get to their normal takeoff position, the fuel management system will detect that we've got center tank fuel and it will decide to close the cross feed number two number two here and number three then center tank will be feeding one and four to protect as much as possible the fuel in number one and number four so the flaps have got to 20 just waiting for it to fuel management system to pick up that the configuration now should now go to center tank pump feeding number one and number four there you go there's valves are closing cross feed valves are closing and if you see now the green line from the center tank is going to number one and number four and tank number two and three are feeding their own engines respectively